Hello guys and welcome to Draco Ray Gaming. I'm Draco and today we're going to be talking about DMCA and copyright issues, violations, strikes, and ugh, all that whoosh, bad stuff that can happen to you for using music you're not supposed to be using and content you're not supposed to be using. So uh, copyright violations are not fun uh, and they're not good. And three strikes you're out on YouTube and three strikes you're out on Twitch now. Twitch has been upping the ante on their protection, DMCA and strikes and all this copyright vi violation stuff going on. They've been banning accounts left and right, give, handing out strikes. It's scary. If you're an affiliate or a partner, especially if you're a partner, um, you don't want to be getting these kind of strikes, get your account deleted and, and those kind of things. Uh, recently they've been going through uh, even clips, people's clips, and they've been, um, DMCA strikes have been issued on those. I have a bit of some news and some updates. We're going to be talking about this in depth today. Here we go. Let's go. Okily-dokily, one of the things I was reading was this article and it was talking about um, how Twitch was responding to allegations against streamers on the platform and things that they were doing. So first of all, I noticed um, Cloaksy, uh, one of the big streamers on Twitch, he was talking about how he got a strike and two more his account would be permabanned. We've also seen Dr. Disrespect get permabanned. We've seen other big name streamers getting strikes and banned. We've seen Donald Trump right here get his account banned. So an update as of June 30th over here as one of the examples, Twitch bans, uh, all recent Twitch bans over alleged abuse and misconduct conduct within the streaming community. President Donald Trump's Twitch account has also been suspended. Uh, following on the 28th, following the promise earlier in the week to begin handing out suspensions, Twitch has banned multiple Twitch streamers uh, who have been accused of sexual abuse in what appears to be a seemingly unrelated action. Uh, Dr. Disrespect has also been banned. Um, so they've issued a, a new statement on the 24th and it's been an ongoing thing and it's been on, honestly very, very scary, especially for new streamers just starting out uh, or myself as an affiliate or even partners that you know, have made it and they, they you know, are successful streamers. It can be really scary to just see all of your stuff get deleted and or disappear or get perma banned out of nowhere. Um, you know, if you don't follow the Twitch guidelines. I mean, watching Dr. Disrespect's last eight minutes of his stream was honestly pretty scary. Um, so, so what do we do? What do we, you know, you definitely want to make sure you're reading the guidelines. Go to the Twitch site here. Make sure you're, you know, reading through the material and you know the rules. There's a lot of documentation and paperwork that everybody skips over when you go to stream or do video content on YouTube uh, and all of those things. And, and you really kind of got to be careful of the material you're using. Uh, luckily we have people out there like, it's like, so what can we do? What can we do? I, I want to play music on my stream. Uh, I'm getting my audio muted on my streams or I, I got a strike. You know, what do I do? And what it's, it's kind of difficult out there right now. There's not a lot of options and solutions and some of the stuff I'm going to give you what I've got, but honestly, it's not a lot. And it's, it's a big, this big part of it is that we need to have someone uh, even the community, like you guys, comment below and let me know uh, what music you guys use. I've actually had to, I'll give you the options, I'll give you some answers and we'll go over them right now. Uh, you know, no BS, I like to get to the point. So like, uh, I've had to collect songs, copyrighted songs, over the, over the, over the months and years. And I kind of have my own playlist now of songs that are, you know, true copyright free and not anything wrong with them because and what, what do I mean by that there's, there's royalty free and copyright free and, and what is that and I don't want to put some of the YouTube pages on blast here but there is pages out there where if you look uh, you Google on or not Google but if you go on YouTube and you just type in royalty free music I don't care if I get in trouble for let me see I'll see if we'll get in trouble for this uh, this is by the way stream beats from Harris Heller um, which is great. Let's open up another YouTube page. I'm gonna just go in here and type royalty free uh, music, uh, copyright free, whatever. So, and let's say uh, free non copyrighted background music. Uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna click on this one. Um, no copyright background music. Um, subscribe, my gear. See, this, this is a good one. So what I do right here is I go in here and I look for any type of um, instructions that say I have to credit the the, uh, the, the the artist or I have to do this or I have to do that, right? This is a perfect example of something you can use. Free, non-copyrighted music. You put free in there, right? But a lot of other people do. Uh, there's other ones you can go to. I hate to kind of put them on blast, but if you go to like uh, audio library and you go to one of their playlists, and you go to the top 50 whatever and you go in here um it's free but you can either contact the artist or over oh, right here boom 
If you don't follow these policies, you can get a copyright claim slash strike. If you need more information about using music, please go get in touch with the artist. This channel's not an official YouTube channel, blah, 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 blah. So you actually have to, a lot of times, they'll tell you what you have to actually copy paste in your videos. This one uh, doesn't, it looks like, and it said, but it does have all these other rules. If you're gonna use the music, you have to adhere to all of this, as well as do this, and that's not a lot of fun. So there's those music where you have to credit the people, there's the music where you have to actually um, pay for a copyright-free license. It's like copyright-free if you buy the license, and they'll give you the link in here to go buy the license, and basically they put you on a whitelist and then you're clear to use the music and when the algorithms from YouTube and Twitch start scanning the music in your videos and streams and they target it, they'll look at you and your account and they'll see if you're whitelisted with the appropriate company or a record or the, you know, the companies and if you're whitelisted, they're like, oh, he's good. And if you're not, you get a strike. So there's, there's the ones where you got a credit, there's the ones where you got to actually buy the license and then there's ones, um, there's services that you can actually go to. Uh, if you just Google, um, you know, like uh, streaming music, like copyright free. There's a couple sites out there. A bunch of stuff will come out. Epidemic Sound. Uh, there was another one like uh, Streamer Square. Um, bunch of, but but you actually have to like what is this? Cloud Radio IO. Some so SoundCloud has some some artists that are actually royalty free, like DJs and stuff like that. And you can actually use their music, and it's 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 pretty good. Um, but like like I was kind of saying, like if you click on this uh, Epidemic Sound, you got a personal or commercial license you got to buy. Yeah, they have tons of tracks, thirty two thousand tracks. Uh, but you got a you got a thirty day free trial. You can try it out, see if you like it. Then you got to pay a fee. So you got to pay. A monthly subscription you got to pay a one-time fee for the tracks you want to use forever or you got to credit the uh, artist and all that those are the three main ways to really get music right now if you're not going to uh, Harris Heller's stream beats where he's got you know like here on the YouTube uh, playlist he's got 243 videos uh, or songs which is not like a whole lot but it's enough to, to get you by and you can get some of these songs that you like you can find some of the true actual royalty free songs like I showed you Googling or you know, searching through YouTube and, and, and looking in the comments and description and making sure there's no license involved and you don't got to credit and you got to jump through all these hoops just to use the music. Um, so that's that's kind of how the playing field is right now. There's a big market right now, people. Let me tell you, let me tell you, there's a big market right now. There's a big market right now uh, for people that are streaming and creating content that want to get past this stuff. Um, and Harris Heller's jumping on it. Some other people are jumping on it. Twitch is like started to kind of jump on it, but they're they're basically making people build the library for them, like the brilliant business geniuses they are. Those you know guys, um, and so like they're getting artists to, to submit music so that it's free for the streamers on Twitch to use that music from those artists, which hopefully takes off. But right now it's not that good and not put together from what I've been looking at. So big market, please guys, comment below. Let's talk about it. Share where you're getting your music from, that you're not getting your streams muted, that you're not getting copyright strikes, that you're not getting uh, you know bad uploads with, hey, you have copyrighted material in your YouTube videos. Where are you guys getting your music? What's copyright free? What's good out there? What's some of your favorite music artists or DJ DJs? Um, let us know. Let's talk about it because I think it's about us coming together as a community and people actually building uh, music libraries that are copyright free and safe and actually truly free for content creators and streamers to use. We need that. We need to talk about it. We need to come together. So uh, I'm Draco Ray. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. I'm releasing videos weekly with Warzone gameplay, streaming tips, and how to. I'm here to teach you guys things and share what I know. And I'm happy to learn what you guys know. I'm out of here. I'll catch you next time.